The football field to center court now. Questions continue to be raised over who will pay for a new Bucks arena. Lacey Crisp tells us how the clock is ticking on the Bucks future in Brew City. They do not need our money. Hundreds gathered Sunday afternoon to oppose any public money to help the Bucks build a new downtown Milwaukee arena. The Bucks owners have the nerve. They have the nerve to come to our town with their hand out. Instead, they want to see more money spent on kids' playgrounds. We need to invest in our neighborhoods, in our communities, and we are not giving our public money to the Bucks for a new arena because they don't need it and they don't deserve it. It just shows the greed of our capital society that, you know, we take, take, but we don't give, we don't, we don't give back. And if we don't give it back, there is no future. Tim Sheehy is the president of the Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce and argues a new arena will benefit the whole community. We think this arena can have a catalytic impact on the development of Milwaukee, and so it makes sense to have a public-private partnership, and yes, public funding will be part of that. No site has been picked for the new arena, but it's expected to cost up to $500 million. The Bucks already have $200 million for the new facility. There's no proposal on the table right now, so I think we're asking people to keep an open mind to the impact that a new arena could have and a public-private partnership could have. Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4. Bucks owners have said they want to have a site picked out by the end of this year and be in the new arena by the end of 2017. Now,